Through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome to our brand new playthrough. We're going to play Horizon Forbidden West. Just came out today. I actually just got my PS5 today as well. I've literally never played on the PS5 before. And I uh, really did get it for this game. There's a few others I want, but this is the one that really made me finally take the leap. Loved the first game, played the first game on the Best in Slot channel, played the DLC for the first game on the Vagrant channel, and excited to get in at the ground floor with Forbidden West, which I've heard exceptional things about. Let's get started. And we're going to play on normal difficulty, because I'm a bit of a coward, but not too much of a coward. Minimal HUD information, look at the world to find your way. Markers and icons on the screen. Explorer, sure. I'm sure we can change that kind of thing. Maybe. <laughs> Auto saves will take place frequently as you progress each quest step. Manual saves may be made at campfires. Really excited about this one. Running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, they'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AI you designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing.
And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. For a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Varl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well... Consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So, what are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. You're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. See like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? Grapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. 
Let's get started. I can talk. <laughs> I can finally talk. Okay, interesting that. Don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. First of all, game is stunning. Jesus. Short pulses from your focus highlight valuable loot and resources. Tap R3. There. Those plants by the stream should do the trick. Medicinal Skybrush. You can store a limited number of medicinal berries in your medicine pouch. Tap to heal. Okay, okay, not a problem. God, this game is beautiful. Look at the hair. More than anything else, I'm enamored with the hair. Look at it move. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, really, I've been looking forward to this for a really, really long time. The first game is one of my favorites. It didn't really do anything new, per se, but it just did what it did really, really well. And it's so rare that I find, like, an open-world game that nails the story, you know? And Horizon's one of the few where the story is actually intriguing, and the character is actually intriguing. Ah, huh, okay. You saw lips in the okay, yeah, so I need to heal, obviously. Bitter? Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. Alright, we should keep going. Nice and smooth. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. <laughs> I think I've already done that, buddy. <laughs> there we go, we learned how to climb things. Everywhere. <coughs> this stuff spreads fast. Six months ago, the land was fine. Now it's everywhere. So at the end of the last game, we took down Hades, who was trying to destroy all life on the planet to basically do a restart of the planet, having been uh, activated by something. We still don't really know how it all kicked off, as far as I know. What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's um. Tap Think circle before the apex of a jump it's towards water. Okay. Alonzi? <laughs> Is that water? <laughs> well, we can now dive underwater. We can do that in the last game. Uh, I clearly messed up with the dive a little bit. We'll, we'll get there. We'll do a classic uh, Lara Croft kind of swan dive. I'm just going to mess around my audio very slightly. I just want to bring everything down. So that speech is uh, super duper loud. Lost a lot of my gear. And that's why Aloy has no gear. So, yeah, we kind of took out Hades. That's no longer a problem, or hopefully not a problem so far, at least. Look at that water texture. <laughs> and, but now there's a new issue, which is the blight. And we've sort of ventured further to the west, and this red corruption is uh, spreading and ruining all the food and making people super duper sad. You really traveled a long way to get here. I almost caught up to you a couple times, too. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Delicious carcass? Okay, I don't know why I just did that. Okay, we're gonna try this dive again. Is it circle? I think it's circle. One day, folks. One day. <laughs> hey, we've got some water weed. Which is actually my favorite type of weed. <laughs> God, this game looks so good. It's actually blowing my mind a little bit. Actually a little stunned. Environmentally, it is gorgeous. I want to take it home to meet my mum. A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. Sorry, mum, I'm not getting married, but I do really like this video game. <laughs> I hope that's okay. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. There's some ridgewood by the stream. Can I just take those? Okay, ridgewood. Oh yeah. All right. Now to craft some arrows. No. Gotta get every single possible piece of ridgewood alloy. Come on now. <laughs> so yeah, if you're watching this on the uh, the the best in slot channel. This is an idea I've had for a while doing this kind of thing. Like, if I start a new series on Solly Vagrant on my second channel, maybe I'll advertise it a little bit on the first channel. You know, I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, if you miss the days where I used to do a lot more gameplay 
on the best slot channel. You used to play random games and all that kind of jazz. Well, the second channel is for you, wink wink. And there are tons and tons and tons of episodes of everything already there that you could go and check out. Uh, after this one, of course. We're also playing Dying Light 2 at the moment, for example. Right, select... Uh, and hold X. Done. Me too. Arrows ready. It's going to take me a bit of practice this. I don't really play on the PS5. Well, I've never played on the PS5, but I don't really play on the PS4 either. I've always been a bit of an Xbox boy, if I'm honest. I will learn to be an everything boy. But can't reach it from here. Nothing Give me a lift. Nothing arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. Hold right trigger while aiming to draw the boat. Full draw, uh, full draw your boat's more accurate. Destroy the ladder's lock. Is that the lock there? That did it. Yeah. After you. Kicking ass and taking names. And I'm all out of bubblegum. <laughs> Just slam those two things together. Oh, hello. I'm really curious what's causing this. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission. The uh, message I found didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. So Gaia um, is like this master AI made by Sobek. This has part of the last game. And um, Gaia controlled all these sub-functions like Hades and Mephestus and Hephaestus, I should say, etc., etc., so the idea, I think, is that um, and now all those AIs, because Gaia was taken out, I think, by Hades. Hades was basically given sentience by some unknown force. We still don't know who. I think the idea is that so so we defeated Hades at the end of the last game after they became sentient and began to be all you know evil and such and destroy everything, which is what Hades is basically programmed to do. Down this way. And we. Um, want to get Gaia back online so she can wrangle control of all these functions and maybe terraform the planet back to how it used to be. With many more dinosaurs. Never seen one of those before. Hello, lovely. Me neither. What is it? Not really a dinosaur, is it? It's more like a... Like a... Stoat? How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay, see how parts of it are glowing? Borrower. Those are its weak spots. Got it. It's I. It's a weak spot. Right. Okay, I'm concentrate. Ready. Come on, beautiful. Just look at me. Come on, it's like a burrowing. It's, it's, it's like a mole, but a little bit skinnier and sleeker and stout like. I missed. <laughs> you saw nothing. Whoa! Hey, cheeky. <laughs> there we go. That's what we were looking for. We got a circulator and some shards. Find anything good? A few supplies. Oh, <laughs> hello. Come on, come on, come on. I got it anyway. Oh, chucking his little little booty rocks at me. <laughs> Cheeky little player. There we go. I was trying to hit that uh, little beast spot on the back. It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. And the game's so pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty. I can't get over how good it looks. Over me leaving. What did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. And I set out to find you. Someone shot this machine too. 
I've, I've never played a PS5 or Xbox Series X game, so I'm just always impressed. I mean, I've been playing recent PC games, so I don't know why I'm so staggered, but I don't know, something about seeing it done on a console that's impressive, you know? Yeah, found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. That's good to have extras. I had to think, I had to look down for just a second there. Where's the square button? Oh yeah. We'll be okay, Val. Okay, we've got a sprint. We've got roll. That would be, that would have been good to know a minute ago when that bloody thing was hurling rocks at me. Far zenith. I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. Okay. I guess they want us to check in with them. I Aloy. I future girl. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find a way in. So Aloy is a clone of Elizabeth, as I say. Elizabeth was the one who was... Look at that water. <laughs> Elizabeth is the one who was uh, making so Gaia to... Um, try to save the world after... The guy who made the machines was doing like it for war. Either. And the planet was getting destroyed due to that. And climate change and a bunch of other things as well. And... Um, Gaia... Might not have been Gaia specifically, but one of the AIs. I think it was Gaia before getting shut down, kind of desperately made a clone of Elizabeth using the like the last bit of DNA or whatever they had in order to save the planet, I think. I did a little bit of reading, because it's been a long time since I played the first game. There we go. Just like old times. Stick it in and wiggle it about. <laughs> There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. It's a huge amount of gear, Jesus. Whoever left us here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Whoever left us here was an elephant, clearly. Ugh. And what's that stench? Entire Whoa. camp. Why doubt? They must have come here to Delph for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. It made that noise less annoying. It used to be really irritating little... <laughs> it's much nicer now in this game. It's the little things that matter, you know, folks? It's the little things. So you hold it, and there's like a big boy scan. And you just click it, and it does a little boy scan. <laughs> I've heard melee is a little bit better this time. I'll have to have a little look at that, because I always quite liked the melee in um, Horizon Zero Dawn, but it just it never felt particularly useful other than some edge cases, I suppose. <laughs> it looks like a happy little it's robot <laughs> on the right. <laughs> if I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. No, oh, never mind. Aloy, over here. Ah, poison. Ah, I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Oh. Maybe I should stop looting things before. <laughs> Acid burned right through his armor. Those Part leaves. of a machine. Could help fix the gears. Anything else? Ah, yep, yeah, over that. See me rolling. Huh. 
Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. I could use that workbench. Clearly whatever came through the ceiling is an acid-spitting monstrosity, and I suspect we're going to have to deal with it by the end of this section. Alright, here we go. Pull caster, special gear legendary. Ooh. An improved version of a Delver's prototype tool that can latch onto and pull objects also enables grappling to specific points. Cool beans. There. Uh, pull caster. <laughs> now to test it on the debris. Okay. Pullcaster is a versatile tool that allows you to manipulate objects in the environment that have a grated pattern. Okay. Tell me how to use it. <laughs> right, hold L2 and tap triangle. And then grip. Which, which is the... is it that? Ah! Heave, Aloy! Heave! Put your back into it. Right, I've got to remember to do that every time. More heaving. This girl's hench. <laughs> that worked better than I thought. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. That is erotic. <laughs> I have a deep love for that. That is so cliche in some ways, but so beautiful. That kind of, the rock juts up towards the light which bursts through via the sun rays and then there's a lone curvy tree sprouting up. It's beautiful, it's like a little painting. All right, use your focus to learn things and solve puzzles. Okay, let's go talk to the console first. There's something up there. Something up there. What's this? It's a console, Aloy. I don't think a pulse from my focus is enough here. I better scan the area. Well, good morning. I'm hey. Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to oh, Far Zenith. I might be able to get up there. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you I have to cross eight point right. six oh, right. meters of space to get there. Jump and tap X. Okay. So I don't need to use the pull. I just Ah, wee! Okay, liking that. That works. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Yeah, sorry, I'm leaving you behind now. I'll find you another way up. No, we're done now. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> we're done. All right, search the ancient ruins for a guy. Oh, okay. Time to learn how to jump on things. Man, I love that. <laughs> I'm big on that. All the way along, grab. How do I scan this little doohickey? Could do it from here? No. Hop down the other side. Oh! Oh! I pressed, I pressed circle. I did not press square. I definitely pressed circle. Circle, I, I typically take as cancel, but I guess circle in this case is dodge, so that makes sense why that would punish me. These are important things we've got to learn, folks. <laughs> oh, she slides! And I didn't have to research it. If there are a billion bloody points, I can dang like two. Oh, that isn't anything. Okay. Cheeky little blighter. Okay, here we go. Square. <laughs> there is. I'm a bloody pro, I tell you. A blim blamming pro. While moving, tap sprint, tap. Okay. Oh, little ropey, little ropey. Little ropey caster. Is that a joke? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. It's verging on a joke. <laughs> it's about as close as I ever get, go, frankly. Varl. Thanks. No worries, buddy. See, I'm, just, I'm always prepped for violence, essentially. At a moment's notice, I'm ready to stab something with my large stick. It's beautiful. Humans, Homo sapiens, us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. 
And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The Sirius system. There, we'll create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chinvumbe, the truest form of immortality is... Data corrupt. <laughs> Playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. True immortality is deep to corrupted. It's a beautiful sentiment, one that I choose to live by. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. They just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. I was really pretty iffy on that guy. Because, you know, he talks about saving the elite, and I'm not really on board with that kind of nonsense attitude. The have really grown over this place. Then he also says Zenith, and that deeply upsets me. <laughs> like, I'm sure lots of people say Zenith, but I am I'm a Zenith boy to the end, you know? I'm very passionate about my Zenith, so. There's a magical rock in there. So what is causing this? That is, I guess, the main mystery right now. Where is this? Whoa! What is that? Might have been what killed those Osram. Keep your guard up. It's a snack! Oh, my guard is up. It's a very large snack! Which is cool, because I mean we're in a swamp, right? We want a Titan of Boa style creature. I.e. a snake. Careful. 
Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. Here we learn how to do stealth. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. And people in this game have such cool hair. My hair feels so uneventful compared to everyone else's. Moving up. Do -do -do. I need to sneak up on it to take it oh. out with my spear. Can't let it see me. It's looking at me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. Oh, okay, I didn't know that was an option. Highlight closer. track. Stay out of sight. Oh, right. Love that effect. That's very cool. Mine's down too. All right, that's, that's pretty cool. Sneak, big boy scan, and then check its path, and then take it down. Sweet. Just do that to the snake next time. <laughs> not, not a problem. You know, I, I don't, I don't see an issue with that or whatsoever. I'm seeing a slight issue in that my, um, my recording program. Uh, More of those machines ahead. Basically, uh, has a big record button on it, and it happens to be sitting right on top of my health bar. Okay, so should, wait, I'm gonna scan that one as well. I think I'm gonna do one track at a time. I've got your back. So I'm just waiting for it to walk past. And we'll drop down and we'll shim sham. We'll shingo shango. Whoa, Nelly. On your lead. Well, maybe you should hide properly, buddy boy. Nothing here, it's just a very suspicious looking bush. Just a very suspicious bush. <laughs> Nobody suspects the bush. Oh god damn it. He suspects the bush. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's going crazy. Bash it into pieces, bash it in no! Come back. Whoa, kinda of predicted where I was gonna go. What a chat. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Got them all. It wasn't the neatest thing I've ever done in my life, if I'm totally honest. I noticed you have a new look these days <laughs> yeah i know didn't have a lot of time to shave when i was trying to catch up to you don't worry it's not permanent good sorry my whiskers offend you anointed hey, what's wrong with it it's a good look i am very much on the pro beard hype train but that's neither here nor there it's how do i do this again how do i Oh, L1 is it? Yeah, so we need some more arrows. There we go. Cool beans. Stock up a little bit on wood. Shut up, no jokes. <laughs> and let's move on with our lives. I wonder, can I walk through this corrupted stuff, by the way? Does it cause me... No, it seems okay, actually. I've been avoiding it a little bit. I thought it might I don't know, damage me a little bit. Although that might not be corrupted, that might just be, uh, well, red, I suppose. <laughs> I think they're pretty chill, actually. That, I'm gonna touch- I'm gonna touch it. <coughs> the blight's infecting all the plants. It's changing them. 
If it keeps spreading, nothing will grow. That's why we have to fix it. Okay, I can walk through it. I mean, it's very red. It's very reminiscent of the corruption that was plaguing the robots from... Uh, it was, was it Hades who was corrupt? It was Hades. Hades corrupted the robots. Hephaestus was making extravagantly dangerous robots, basically. Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. Aww. I couldn't escape. Foxy. I hope it didn't suffer long. Open over there? No, maybe. I suspect this is actually the wrong way and I'm talking nonsense. Okay! Someone's been here recently. The Osra must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Finally found our way inside. There's a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. They mean to do that. Oh, not, not totally Trap sure what I just did. Oh, oh, hello. Might be able to disarm them. It's like a uh, Chinese lantern. <laughs> Blast trap. Okay, there. can I get some stuff? Managed yeah, nice. Some supplies. Easy does it, Aloy. Dismantled it. And got more supplies. Easy does it, girl. We got this. You and me, Aloy, to the end. We've got like a 80-hour uh, <laughs> journey ahead of us. Make some traps of our own. You know, might come in handy against machines. Good idea. Gotta get on. Oh, uh, I don't have the right supplies to craft a trap. But it looks like the Osram shot off some machine parts. I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them. I can use this. There we go, we just need one more blast plate. Okay. Lovely. I should have what I need to craft a trap. A little bit more, anyway, a little bit cheeky. Oh. Oh, the Osram have been busy, haven't they? The Osram, if I remember, they were very technologically savvy, quite... They, they sort of separated themselves quite a lot from everyone else. Okay, so let me just hold them. Okay. Ah, right. Right, 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 right. right. Craft. There. Explosive trap made. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what to do. I'm not usually big on the whole trap. Oh, look at that light. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm not usually Over big here. on traps. Aloy. Really? I think I see a way up. Can you get up here, or am I leaving you behind again? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think they spotted us. I better scan them. I've seen this machine before. A scrounger. Scrounger. That's new to me. Let's see where its weak points are. Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. Maybe we could. Tap. Uh. Okay. And then just do that. Aloy, move! No! Okay, it's fine. No, no, don't. Just lead it over here. Just lead it over here. There we go! Whoa. Lightning boy. Alright, no need for that. I'm continuously pressing the wrong button, it must be sad. There we go. We're clear. Let's keep going then. We leveled up. All I really want to do is level up. Those who know me will know my deep Deep love for leveling up in skill points and skill trees and all that kind of thing. A lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? Well, they all have their secrets, but every place is different. Do a little bit more health. It's not been the cleanest start. New controller is my excuse for now. I'll, I'll come up with more excuses as I get used to the game. And then obviously I can't keep using the same excuse. Well, I say I'm an Xbox boy. The position of these thumbsticks. Oh, don't even know what to do with myself. It's 
crazy town up in here. My hands have never felt like this before. Okay. Uh, looks like we have to get up there. Looks like we have to come up here. Whoa. That machine we saw earlier must be on the move. Let's hope it doesn't come this way. We're not gonna kill that thing, are we? <laughs> it seems like it'd be much too large to be handleable, which is an official term, don't look it up, at this point in the game. Remember, square. There we go. It's hip to be square, remember that folks. That's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan it with your focus. It's quite a nice idea having him here, because... Aloy already knows all this stuff, so we need an excuse to kind of go through his tutorial again, and this is actually quite a clever way of doing it. Mm -hmm. This data mentions the tech that Far Zenith traded with Zero Dawn. It's not that long, we'll have a little read. Text log data corruption partial zero dawn trade agreement. High Council Executive Summary. Negotiations with representatives from Zero Dawn have concluded, and I am exceptionally pleased that we've arrived at a mutually profitable 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 <laughs> it's not a profiterole agreement. It shows that sugar usually goes down better than salt, especially on a profiterole. In contrast to the less tactful recommendations of certain of our more reactionary members. In short, Far Zenith will provide a copy of the prototype Homer archive. Already sent. 500 ectogenic chambers to be retrieved from storage at our Ninmar facility. Supplementary ectogenesis research reports. In exchange, for Zenith will receive a copy of the alpha build of the Apollo database in the week prior to the Odyssey's launch. By our estimates of Zero Dawn's timeline, by then it should be a near complete repository of human knowledge. It should be noted that Dr. Sobek was very reluctant to agree to this, but I drew a line in the sand, making it clear this was a non negotiable term. So, yeah, Apollo is. I can't remember who was working on it. Was it Sobek? I can't remember. Someone was working on it anyway. And that's what Xylans was looking for. Um, the guy who did the intro at the very start of the game when we first loaded in, before I even said anything. And Apollo is basically a database of all human endeavor and knowledge of all time, Does basically. How they got it back up? I'll keep an eye out for more data. Data? Data? Let's see. Huh. A lot of glyphs. I'll tuck this away to study later. Looks like we've got to climb up. If it's yellow, let it climb. Yellow has become kind of like the colour for climbing. Dying Light uses yellow as well. This place is really falling apart. Quite a few games do. Well, it is a thousand years old. I wonder why. Why yellow? Red means danger, green means like go. Meeting room. A door on the other side's locked. Pink means by the table. party. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system, the brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek, empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering. An obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here. 
But she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy? Why does that woman look like you? Uh, um... It's okay, Prawl. We look alike because... We're the exact same. Genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup? is like a set of instructions. It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Laurel. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus, but for now... The report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Always appreciate when the bad guys just lay out their plan. <laughs> just, he is all the evil shit we're doing. Oh no, I swore, I'm sorry. And it was at this point that you may have seen my Elgato decided to freeze up a little bit. It does this, sometimes it did it with Pokemon Snap in the past. Thankfully, I barely played past this point. We're not really going to lose much whatsoever. And next video, I'm going to go back to using GoBS to record my PS5 or my consoles because the Elgato game capture cannot be trusted. So thank you so much for joining me. If you came here from the Best in Slot channel or you're watching this on the Best in Slot channel right now, then definitely go check out Solly Vagrant if you want to see the whole playthrough. If you're here from Vagrant, well, thank you for joining me on this channel. It's good to have you here. We'll be doing this daily going forward along with the continuation of course of Dying Light 2. Thank you so much for joining me. From me, I like and all that malarkey. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers much of as always. Bye-bye.